Hey everybody, Bob here from Inficon, and today we're going to show you how to get started with your new Flumate Combustion Analyzer. Inside the carrying case, you'll find a flue gas probe and hose assembly with a built-in water trap, manometer pressure hose, AC wall charger, and a USB cable. Start by connecting the flue gas probe to the bottom of Flumate. The hose coming from the water trap assembly connects to the in port, and the other gas sampling probe connects to the P-plus port. The temperature probe connects to the T1 port. To use the built-in manometer feature, connect the manometer pressure hose to the P-plus port. You should charge Flumate before its first use. A full charge takes about six hours. If you don't have time to wait, Flumate can be used while it's charging. It's good practice to turn Flumate on outside to ensure a baseline carbon monoxide level of zero. Press and hold the menu slash power button until the display turns on. Once turned on, a 60 second timer will start. During this time, Flumate will sample clean air to set a zero point and take an ambient temperature measurement, which will be used as the primary air reading. When finished, Flumate will display the ambient temperature reading. If you're working on a high efficiency furnace, select Keep to use this outdoor air temperature for your analysis. For atmospheric equipment, enter the building and select Repeat near the furnace to reacquire an ambient air temperature inside. Next, ensure your indoor work environment is safe by checking the ambient CO level. In the menu screen, select Sample Type and then CO Air. Monitor the CO level as you walk around indoors. You can save or print the results of the ambient CO analysis if you wish. Turn the heating system on and let it go through its startup process before testing combustion. The operating manual for the appliance should list the acceptable thresholds for draft, excess air, carbon monoxide, stack temperature, and other relevant parameters. Have these handy during combustion analysis. The air to fuel ratio is key to achieving complete combustion. Understand the stoichiometric combustion curve to optimize the heating system's efficiency. Introducing too much air or fuel will result in incomplete combustion, reducing the efficiency. Locate the test port on the flue pipe. If there is no test port, carefully drill a quarter inch hole. Keep in mind that dropping debris into the fan can damage it. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for the recommended location. A test port too low or too high may result in inaccurate readings or damage to the analyzer. Insert the gas sampling probe into the test port. The tip of the sampling probe should be in the center of the pipe. Loosen the set screw to adjust the positioning cone. Screw in the positioning cone when the probe tip is in the correct position, and then tighten the set screw. There should not be any noticeable gaps. Select the analysis mode and fuel type before pressing the start button to begin the analysis. On the screen, you'll see readings like oxygen, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, system efficiency, losses, and flue gas temperature. When finished, remove the sample probe and any other connections. Use caution as the sample probe and flue stack can be very hot. You have the option to save or print the analysis report. If save is selected, Flumate will save the test results locally on the device. Print allows you to print the test results with a Bluetooth printer or generate a unique QR code you can scan to quickly transfer the analysis report to the Flumate mobile app. Both of these options allow you to keep a record and share documentation. To connect the Bluetooth printer, start by making sure the printer option on the print screen is on. Then select pairing Bluetooth. Turn the printer on and select start. Select the printer once it's detected and Flumate will start the pairing process. A message will appear once pairing is complete. Hold the menu slash power button to turn Flumate off. A 60 second purge cycle will begin to remove any remaining flue gases from the instrument and hoses. Note that you should avoid turning Flumate off with the probe still in the flue. To remove any residual condensate, disconnect the hose from the water trap and blow clean compressed air through the probe. The included manometer hose can be used to measure gas pressure. Connect the manometer pressure hose to the P-plus port on Flumate 
and refer to the furnace manufacturer's operating manual for instructions on how to test for gas pressure. To view the pressure readings, enter the menu on Flumate, then select Sample Type, and then Pressure. The water trap will collect moisture and large particulates to protect the internal components of Flumate. After every use, check and empty the water trap if there is any visible liquid inside. Rotate the cover to open the water trap. Inside the water trap is a replaceable particulate filter. If any part of the filter appears dirty, it should be replaced immediately. To replace the filter, open the water trap and pull out the inner plastic piece. You may have to wiggle it slightly. Replace the filter and reassemble. Like any combustion analyzer, Flumate should be calibrated annually to ensure optimal performance. Contact your local distributor or Enficon for calibration services, sensor replacement, and other replacement parts. Flumate is available with or without a Bluetooth printer and comes with a two-year replacement warranty. Have more questions about your Flumate? Contact us at Enficon and we'll be happy to help.